How do you do y'all? This is John and today we're talking about Jolt, a new movie out on Amazon Prime right now. And then Jolt, this young woman in London has a emotional disorder and after her boyfriend is murdered she goes on a rampage through London trying to find his killer. Okay, before I get into my issues with the film, I'm going to talk about why I did like first. And honestly, I thought the acting was, for the most part, fine. In some cases, it's, it's pretty obvious. Like the main villain, he's the guy who did the Red Wedding. Kate Beaconsell plays the hero, which is normal for her. The only person who kind of fell out of place was Stanley Tucci, because it just seemed like he was there to collect the paycheck. That was about it. He didn't really give it his all or anything like that. And really, that's about all I can say that's very positive about the film. Because I didn't really see anything else worth mentioning. The fight scenes in the movie, they're the kind that use 10 shots when all you need is one shot. The kind of filming that looks like you're trying to cover up rough choreography or hide the fact that everyone's a stunt double. And all that really does is make action sequences look very ugly. The movie also felt like it was trying to be like the next John Wick or something like that. Because there's a few John Wick-isms in it, including neon lights. But unlike John Wick, which had a very original revenge story and very well choreographed and filmed action sequences, this movie utilizes a story that gets done a lot in action films and also overutilizes fast edited cutting tech stuff. I don't really know the technical term. Okay, I just don't. And really, that's all I can say about the film. Just a John Wick copycat that is trying to sound original, but it's not. I'm gonna give Joel a two. Well, that's all the time I have for today. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please also subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'd very much appreciate that. And as always, please remember, the Bodetsky will return.